Looking out to sea Where a thousand souls have prayed And a thousand lives were laid on the sand Were laid on the sand Years have passed Since they Looking out to see, and I say a prayer that the wild goose will come to. Good morning. Well, this is where we stayed last night. Three Sisters Glencoe. It's a nice, really flat uh, place to park up. That's always a big thing. And we're going to possibly today just see how far we can get up that path as the weather changes we'll come down okay so straight behind there is the longest ridge in in the UK five kilometers long and um, once you're on it you're committed for five kilometers because there's no way off so it's obviously much bigger than uh, anything in Scotland or England, in uh, Wales or England. <laughs> Clouds coming in. That's what I mean by false summits. Come to here thinking you've been walking for two and a half hours three hours and then you see that 
and you realise you're nowhere near. Those guys have just said it's two hours from the top. We're not going to the top in this, no chance. Visibility's going. Yeah, they can. The view's gone. Completely. That's the way to the Lost Valley. So the circular is to come up the Lost Valley, right the way over the top there. And, uh, and that's it. Not today, I'm not doing that. Absolutely soaked, look at this. Yeah, soaked. We're kind of missed as well, and that's the path that we came up. You wouldn't see anything going up that path, down that path now. Is that, that is the route that we took. <laughs> nice. It's obviously attracted to the gullies, isn't it? Ooh. Well, I just want to say on our 25th wedding anniversary, okay, that Mandy would not rather be anywhere else. In fact, when she was giving birth to her second child, and mine, Josiah, it was on the radio when she was giving birth in labour. I wouldn't rather be anywhere else but here. What do you think, Mum? <laughs> oh, gosh. He's <laughs> soaked. Soaked. <laughs> well, that was one of the... Uh, wettest walks I think we've ever been on apart from maybe Scarfell Pike some years ago it was so wet um, both of her boots and the good waterproof boots were absolutely sodden completely soaked soaked this morning it's going to take days for them to dry out um, not only that, I put my mobile phone in my waterproof pocket, that stopped working, and the GPS, which was also in a pocket, which is supposed to be waterproof, has also stopped working as well. Never, never known rain like it. Well, see the lovely spot next to the bridge, looking at the castle. Well, that's probably the most iconic castle in uh, the Highlands, isn't it? On the way to Skye, it's Eileen something or other. We haven't been coming here 25 years, like, we still don't know how to pronounce it.
Okay, just to state that this is not normal on Sky. This weather is anything but normal. Um, we've been coming up here for actually over 25 years. Well, I have anyway. Me and Mandy have been coming up for the last 25 years. And you don't get to see the black cullings like that. Normally, you see half of it. And the cloud never lifts. You never get to see the peaks. But this is the first time we've stayed in this place. And the, these are what you call the red cullings over here, which is what we went on yesterday. And we're trying to stop in places and do things that we don't normally do. But today we're, we're having a day off because just need to, our muscles just to repair for a bit before we do another one. Well, this might not look like the most inspiring shot. The sun's just gone in. It's either gone in or it's gone down too far and we're not getting the lighting. But to me, this is uh, just, there's just floods of joyous memories from when the kids were really, really small and we used to come here and we used to fish on here and climb up the cullings there and um, this perspective of it is, is just superb because that is Carbost over there really friendly people we've never ever had anybody because we don't camp on official sites so we just park up and uh, we've never ever had anybody tell us to move on or anything like that It's just beautiful. It's how I kind of imagine the millennial rain, just little groups of houses like that, and mountains, and seas, valleys, streams. Peace, just peace. Right, well, we have caught how many, man? Oh. One, two, three, seven. We are like a little bit of a out. And you could have, you could have got that list. Yeah, you gutted them all. You gutted them all? Yeah. Wow, that was quick. Well. 
Lovely, and it's not too hot either. It says it doesn't really get too hot. So here's three points then to effective fishing by somebody that knows absolutely nothing about fishing. Three things. First of all, you've got to be in the right place. Secondly, you've got to be there at the right time. And thirdly, you have to have the right kind of bait. Now here on this incredible lock that is set up west to east so it's set up in a, in a way that you get your sunrise and your sunset it's just beautiful here there's a there's a lovely bunkhouse there that we've spent time in with the kids in years gone by right now all meals are 50% off so you can go out for a meal and it's costing you next to nothing around here because it's not expensive for meals anyway it's an amazing place to be. But in terms of fishing, because this is a sea lock, there's no limit to, the, to what comes in or what breeds of fish, types of fish coming here. So it's the, first of all, the right place. Secondly, the right time. Now, I don't know why, but the locals tell me that um, August is just the time for mackerel. And they stream into this lock and um, Sometimes there's, there's, so, there's so many of them coming in here. You can, um, yesterday, I was fishing from here, which is not the best place to fish from, but I was fishing from here, and there was a feeding frenzy going on right in front of me, a mackerel just there, and I just cast my rod in one more time and pulled out three. Um, and, it, and it wouldn't be an exaggeration to say if you spent a day here you'd be pulling out at least 50 fish so this time of year mackerel just streaming and then thirdly the right kind of bait well the right kind of bait for this kind of thing is you get those little feathers you get four feathers spaced about four inches apart with a weight at the bottom if you throw that in, you're guaranteed to get mackerel. If you go for anything bigger, then you, you, you're looking for bigger fish to get it. So you cut, you're reducing the, your odds of what you're gonna get. So those feathers, it's just a guarantee. And if you do those three things, the right place, the right time, the right bait, you come here at the right time of year with the right bait, it is a guarantee. It's a guarantee you're gonna catch fish. Well, Psalm 16, we're on pitch 16 here at Glen Brittle on Sky, and the Psalm 16 says, My lot has been found in pleasant places. Right, well, we're going to attempt to do a wild cam up at the Corrie. There's a locking up at the Corrie on the Black Collins, the 25th wedding anniversary, and uh, we don't even know whether we're going to get up there yet, but we're going to attempt it anyway. over there see the fin on the back of it okay this is the beginning of the black collins here now normally can't see any of this because of the cloud so it's a good day it's a good day to get up there and hopefully set the tent up and then the crowds will go eventually But it's much steeper than it looks. That is much steeper than it looks. A final puff to the locking. And then time for a rest. You see all the lava flow and the volcano. One part spewed out the 
the red cullings, the other spewed out the black. Nearly there. Oh my goodness. I haven't done a wild camp like this with so much weight for ages. The race is not for the swift. I used to know, know an old minister called Donald, died in his 90s and he looked after three churches and he just used to say to me, I'm a plodder, that's all I do is plod. <laughs> looked after three churches and his own opinion of himself was, he's a plodder and his house was called Koinonia and he used to get people to sign in when they came in and you'd have a big chat with him about anything uh, spill out all your troubles and things and then you'd pray normally go to Litchfield Cathedral to the cafe and have something to eat and then pray but he went to be with the Lord and uh, he wanted to be known as the plodder I can definitely relate to that today and Mandy's just the same that is Mandy she's a plodder she never stops she never gives up she just keeps on plodding keeps on plodding and you get there in the end well we're finally we've made it to one of the most beautiful wild camping spots in the UK yeah, they're going up. That's the, they're those guys that we saw. So here now, over this way, there's two routes to the top and it's pure scree. Uh, every step forward you take, you slip back. Um, it's, it's really difficult, but it's quite safe actually. The only thing is you could easily twist your ankle mm. or do your knee, but in terms of killing yourself, it's you, you know it, it is safe nothing. in that way but yeah the scree over there which is what well, i've done that one before this one here takes you to a higher point i've never done that one and it's it's interesting watching people that are experienced at it and seeing how much they struggle mm. probably something to do when the sun goes down a little bit yeah rather you didn't have you got to that V-shape up there? Yeah, I've been up and there, yeah. Over, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. You can hear it all the, view, the views up there are just off the scale. Mm. They're amazing. I'm having pasta bolognese and Mandy is having Thai chicken and then two nut bars up for afterwards. So, looking forward to that. and hopefully a good night's rest up here What about this pasta one? Pasta. Dishwasher Do you prefer the pasta or the chicken thai dress? Oh, I like the chicken thai dress <laughs> I think you're hungry, aren't you? Want to finish this one? This one? Mm. No? This is just perfect, perfect peace. Everybody's virtually gone back now. Keep seeing golden eagles up here as well. You wonder what on earth they feed on. Uh, I think I'm committed now. I'm halfway up. A long way to go. It's hard work. Huh. <sighs> 
Oh my goodness. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh. 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 Wow. Wow. You can see the cloud pouring across there. So those are the those are the red collins that me and Randy went over. That's coming in from the sea. Absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. These are the most alpine like mountains in the UK. You can see the ridge going up and down, up and down, up and down. And that is the highest, I think, of all the collins there. Not easy to, obviously, there's no way I'm going on there. You've got to be a mountaineer to do some of this stuff. But look at the views to the sea, folks. And there's the tent down there. I've come up this scree here and I'm not kidding you. I am not kidding you. That was really difficult. That was really hard work. So what people do here is the, oh I see, uh, they wind the path around and they go up onto that peak there. I'm just so pleased to come back here. Oh. Joe was a little boy when they came up here and they came up on my own and they all stayed down by the lock and down there. And uh, I got up here and I just freaked out because, I mean, if you've ever seen anything quite so beautiful, it's, it's incredible in every direction. In the wrong conditions, obviously, but particularly here, in the wrong conditions, these, these are lethal. Well, guys, that's me done. If nothing else happens on this holiday in terms of any walking, I'm not bothered. I just wanted to get back here. I wanted to get back to the black cullings and the red ones and compare the two. And uh, I'm so happy. So happy. I just wanted to, for us to pray together. Heavenly Father, you are the awesome creator and sustainer of everything. And all the things that the human mind can't even comprehend, Lord, you created everything. Without you, nothing was created that has been created. In you is life, Lord, and that life is the light of men. And the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not comprehended it. Father, we are weak, Lord, and you are strong. And in your strength, Lord, in our weakness, your strength is made perfect. Father, we thank you for every trial that we've been through, every tribulation, Father, that we've been through in this life. We thank you for every victory that we've ever had in you. Lord, help us, Lord, to lay our lives down on your altar. We find it so difficult in this flesh, Lord, but the Spirit is so willing to, to, to serve you, Lord. We love you dearly. We thank you for your Son and for the ultimate price, Lord, that he paid for our salvation. Well, we will have, Lord, the whole of eternity by your grace and your mercy to thank you for what you did for us. Hallelujah. Lord, keep us safe, Lord, in Jesus' holy name. Amen.
got some guys up here from Poland and uh, they're going to be doing the inaccessible pinnacle tomorrow and they're doing a bivy just over there bivy now three of them come all the way from London Good morning. Clouds come in and uh, that's a good thing because it means that the midges are at bay a little bit. So we're gonna, just going to pack up now and get ready for the down but it's going to be another blue sky day today. It was clear all night, this spiral arm of the Milky Way was totally clear. So it's a perfect night to come up to a place like this. Okay. Right, we've done again. The first wild camp since mm, Thingy Tour, wasn't it? The last one we did. Back tour. Um, not even a an imprint on the grass on this one just a, a few rocks that's it and there's the locking over there the sun's coming out it's going to be red hot today we think Jessie's first second wild camp yeah she slept in the porch she's really good slept in the porch never never moved all night that's because she's right under the dark yeah okay we'll go then this is Mandy's this is Mandy's reward for Going up and doing a wild camp. Was it worth it, Mandy? Yeah. <laughs> it's only taken seven days. But finally, we've completely exhausted Jess. That's three mountains and a wild camp later. Yeah. And a lot of swimming. Yeah. She is whacked. And the paws are a bit sore, aren't they? Too bad. I'll put some balm on them later. Hello. Enjoying your little self. Oh yeah. You? you had a big walk yesterday, didn't you? Oh you did. You had a big walk yesterday. of the pass of the cattle in the transit van for the third time actually we've done it three times now the first time we did it it got a cracked engine and we didn't even know it but we managed to get back to England with a crack in the engine so it's had a lot, quite a bit of work done on the engine but look at that folks I mean the midges up here are awful awful drying out the tent as well drying out the tent and it's going to be but it's pretty much golden hour. I want to try and get that. Uh, I'm hoping that it's going to go a bit of a red pink colour. Too many midges. Yeah, last time we came up here, it was um, ice everywhere in February. Came up in February. Got to go in. Horrible. <laughs>
bricks and clay, the peaks of earth in full display. It's full of love, full of love. The chaos of creation stands without Soil is spilling life to life, stars are born.